Oh dear, we have a problem. Apparently, even though I'm practically stood still, I'm doing 45 miles an hour. So, I'm going to have to abandon this little trip, take the bike home, and uh, swap it for the Honda. That's a shame. Now that is a real shame. We spent all uh, afternoon telling those chaps how much I really love this bike and how really reliable it is. And the uh, Speedos decided to go wonky on me. Most, uh, most annoying. Look at this, I must have one of the fastest Royal Enfield 350s going. According to this I'm doing nearly 95 miles an hour. Wow! <laughs> Fantastic! I might be laughing, but I'm not happy. So look at this, I'm stood perfectly still in my driveway, I'm not sitting on the bike, engine's off and I'm doing nearly 20 miles an hour. Something definitely wrong there. Right then YouTube, well I've swapped bikes, I'm now on uh, the trusty Silver Fox and I'm making my way up to uh, the Route 59 calf where well, I might get some lunch eventually. I may not actually get as far as the Route 59 if, uh, if I find myself tempted by the Leafly Farm Shop, which is almost on the way. Anyway, anyway, I've uh, telephoned the uh, Shipley branch of uh, Royal Enfield and uh, had a nice little chat with them there, explained to them that uh, even though I was parked up, keys in my pocket, bike on the driveway according to the uh, speedo I was doing 20 miles an hour which is interesting to say I wasn't even sitting on it anyways so the upshot of that conversation is that I have to uh, take the Enfield to uh, Tadcaster again because they still don't have a mechanic available there. Tadcaster will then remove the um, offending speedo, photograph the back of it to check the serial numbers against the ones that have been reported to have a fault and uh, put it back on again and send me on my way whilst they order a replacement. Why they couldn't just simply take it on my word and the photographs that I could easily send them I don't know, but anyway I could send them photos of the speedo showing 100 miles an hour when I was stood at traffic lights interesting but anyway, you would think that they would have that sort of thing already on um, their system and that they could just simply order a new one and call me when it's ready
still. They have a process to follow, I suppose, and who am I to uh, question that? Other than uh, an unsatisfied customer, Royal Enfield. Come on, get your act together. I'm going to end the video there now as I'm making my way home. And I'll finish it off in the usual manner by saying look after yourselves, look after the people around you, and until next time, bye for now.